Warning, this video contains strong language, reference to alcohol and drugs, violence, blood and sexual themes. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey hello everyone, Run25 and welcome back to Life is Strange episode 4, Dark Room. And I've completely forgot what part it is. Last, last episode we broke in the game a few times. <laughs> I had to restart like four times. Uh. And I, and I now I cover and I and I glitched out the game <laughs> from this decision. And this time I'm gonna stop Warren. One, I don't like bullies, and two, eh, uh, it's wow. Hmm. I really want to say now. Now thinking about it, should I stay out of it? No, I should actually stop Warren. Even though that Nathan is a um, very creepy and a um, bully, I almost killed Chloe. I still think we should stop Warren. So I'm, I'm going to do that. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh, got two more kicks in there. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Although he keeps now. the gun. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Yeah. I think this is like part, um, because I've, I've separated into a few, so I think, I'm thinking this might be part five or six. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. No, you're not. Know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my hold on <laughs> Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Uh, not yet. Oh, come on. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out... Anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. Yeah, I'm maybe a big you. tornado. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. <laughs> Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. <laughs> a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Yeah. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Okay. Like I said, Ooh. Frank wants to see me right now. That was quick. Let's not keep him waiting. Oh boy. I'm trying to think how many times I've broken the game. Uh, once in episode three, I think three or four times last episode, uh, last part, <laughs> so about five times. <laughs> I better not do this again. I got to remember to uh, find out where the photos are because I'm, I'm recording this part onwards on an, on, on another day. But I mean, another day, I meant the, the following day. God. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Mm. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Hmm. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Hopefully. Oh, you'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. 
There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. Hmm. I'm looking forward to the day where we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. If we Absolutely. find her. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Well, you don't have dicks anyways. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, hang on. This was the beach in the alternate timeline, weren't we? Um, hang on. Uh, I should check on Fang's RV on. And there's another page which I'm not going to write. A uh, write read. That's a whale tale, so I'm definitely need to take pictures of the of the dead whales, most likely. Um, got like a windmill. A nest, skeleton, skeleton with a skateboard, and a moon slash sun in a window. Flyer, what flyer? There might not be any pan estates by Saturday. Hmm. No, it depends how far it is away from. Um. I guess it depends how far it is. Is there any way any whales to take pictures of? Aha! Photo number six. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh boy, let's do this. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> oh, look. The Wonder Twins. Hello. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Hmm. I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really mm. here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. We don't have any. We don't have any balls. No. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, bye then. Jesus, okay. Okay. Well, that was easy. But I'm not getting you high. Nah, but not the Frank, high type. Frank, I'm not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Yeah. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Men are boys. Just the names of some of your clients. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so suspicious. Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? The already did. <laughs> uh, um, you didn't get it help or else. I'm sorry. The, the other... These three are a bit mean. I don't want to threaten him. That seems a bit aggressive. And that one would really just probably make him mad because... Um, because Bob bro broken in. So I have to say, I'm sorry. I'm guessing. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, just a tiny yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Wait, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me and then pulled the trigger. Um... How I hold out, how do I help in Chloe? No, but it's just scared me. The bomb is set, I would say you scared me. No bullets, and thank you. Well, there could have been. Helping Chloe. Eh. 
Uh, it could be it could be anyone's hideout. So you scared me. To be honest, right? You scared me. You held a knife on my friend. You didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun with both hands like it was a magnet. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. That's what I said in episode I two. To shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank. Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So we, <laughs> we don't actually. Please. Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is. And if okay. you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. What? We're only. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? That's about one because I do have time. <laughs> Gave dog a bone. Oh god, that would make him pissed off because, well, Pombojo did had a bone in the parking lot. Trying to kill. Bang like no, he's not like that. If I say Pombojo is cute, if like, how the fuck do you know the name? So dog rescue. That's, that's, that's information for we got from episode 3 when we trying to get the RV keys. So, try and say that! Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of bite dogs. That's amazing. No, alright, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompidou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close hmm. to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in the clubhouse? Hmm. What are you hiding? Bracelet. Rachel's letter. What you're hiding is too aggressive. Bracelet. I, I don't know what Max would say. Rachel's letter. That was inside the RV. So Frank would go ballistic. Rachel's photo. That's that's what also got we got in episode three from the RV keys. So I think I should say that one. If I say bracelet, because last time this whole fight. Started with the bracelet, so I'm going to say Rachel photo. Because if I say the bracelet again, it may cause another one. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture. Uh, rewinding time. <laughs> at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is, not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Come on, please. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. It's always a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously. <laughs> we are characters. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah! Victory! I wonder what happened if you uh, say the other bits, say the other options. That was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. I'm getting but a feeling. Must have seen something good in him. I'm getting a feeling if you fuck up, fuck up, then he'll get he'll go, um, he'll go rage and Chloe will pull up pull up the gun. That's my guess. Where are we going now? Oh, okay. Back in Chloe's room. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Yeah, that's so true. I 
better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Oh, oh, thank. Um, I just wanted to see how how the search was going. Thanks for getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you want, both want to party, and good luck. <laughs> oh, that's that's actually kind of cute. And there's three more pages. Can we talk to Chloe? Oh, we can. Chloe's on a roll to find more clues about Rachel now that we're so close. But I'm getting a she's going to say, are you going to look at the board? Hey Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holler if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Okay. Look at the laptop. I don't know why. everything you need. Now it's time to focus on the big board. Okay, let's do this. Uh, thanks, clues. David's clues, and that's Na and that's Nathan's clues. Yes. As as uh, as for my OCD, I've got to go from top to bottom, so I'm going to do that. Gather information on the character by selecting all all the correct clues for each section. There is let's look at Frank's drug something. deal during the week of the party. Okay, what's this one? Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Okay. Look at the... What's that? Frank here? is for sure the local dealer, but... I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. That's definitely right? not Ruslo. Photo, photo. So... What happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That hmm. does fit Nathan. Rotten. Okay, I'm thinking we have to select this one and that one. Yes, the game. There we go. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Uh, so. Yeah, let's, let's go for my top, top to bottom, le left to right. Frank made with Nathan or the vortex clock. Oh boy. So this is... Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Uh, Nathan is what, Lila? She said, so what? Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Um, honestly, I don't remember what, when she left. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his wife, who am I to talk? But it says I need to select three of six. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Hmm. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Maybe... So, I can't select that one again. I have to select these ones. So, I think from here I have to select three where Nathan's was on. So I need to keep an eye out on a. Need to keep an eye out for what, what, what there, what Rilo what. Uh, there's one. So, top left. Top left. Not that one. Uh, top left. Um. This one, she said, um, so what while are there and what while are there? So that's, so, top left, bottom left. Um, and the bottom left. One, two, three. Oh, yes. yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Okay. 
Now, David's clues. Thanks what do we need to do this one? I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Okay. Map, paper. What's this? David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Okay. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Hmm. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Hmm. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Okay. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. So those those ones are uh, number plates from that from that. So maybe I have to select that one with license plates with Nathan's pictures. And that's all she wrote. Okay. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Okay, so David clues. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Uh, okay, let's look at the pictures first. Of course, Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. So he's got tape in the back. And I see there's a tape there in that picture as well. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Because that one has tape, this one has tape. So it's an SXFT license plate. Um. Okay, let's find out who Oh! <laughs> First guess! So it's that one. That one, and that one. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Okay. With what? Okay, this is really bugging my OCD. Thanks. Frank's is, is in the middle, David's is, is in the bottom, now Nathan's clue is most likely at the top. Yay. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? So, although it's been over 20 minutes, I want to finish this off first. Um, I want to get rid of, get, I want to get the end board all filled out, as in, like, David's clues, Frank's clues, David clues. Then once that's done, I'm gonna end the episode. Oh, so, so busted! It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Display warning letter. What's this one? Holy shit! Nathan is seriously unhinged. Oof! But those numbers might be useful. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Okay. There's a lot of numbers in here. Uh, 29, 95, phone numbers, 3.7. That's August as well. Now that's the scribble. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. That's way too easy. There has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. So maybe select the phone, the SIM card, and the report and the student file. Oh, three or four. Um, I didn't realize I was four. That one had a lot of lots of numbers. So I put that okay, one as well. Max. 
Let's blow this code up and go home. He basically did nothing. Max, uh, no, Roger, dang it. Start hacking. Whoops. Which I'm gonna study the board of dang it. Hmm. And a pin. So there are typically people usually use their birthday as a password. So it's either twenty nine oh eight or oh eight twenty nine. I'm gonna try oh eight twenty nine. Oh eight two nine. Or Boom! <laughs> all the messages from the week Kate was drugged. I don't need the G. Okay, cool. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Uh, Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Yeah. So that was the uh, block num the private number. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Okay. Okay. No. Oh, uh. Nathan, this is not definitely going to be good. Who says can't fucking fight? You fuck up my dorm door, I'll kill your scholarship. Okay, so I was so I can't rewind before the door. That makes sense. Right, uh, all the three of three here is all done. So I'm going to end this episode here. Leave it as a tiny little cliffhanger. I uh, hope you have en hope you enjoyed this part. Uh, was a good camera angle. I want a new good camera angle. Uh, let's try... Just try that. Come on. There we go. Um, I will sign this episode off here. We've done not a lot really. Just we visit Frank. Got his, got his details. I'm so glad you're working with me on this. Uh, thanks. And we've got up to here. And luckily, I think my detective skills are pretty good. Anyways, I hope you. Oh, hopefully, I will see you in the next part of Love is Strange Episode Four: Dark Room. Bye.